What is up guys? We are out in the garage again and today we're going to show you how we wire up our soft wash pump to our battery to our switch and charger and all that mess. Um, it sounds like a lot but it's really not and so we're going to walk you through it today and how we're doing it but first we got to run the tractor supply and get a few things so stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, what we're doing. So let me go ahead and flip this camera around. All right, guys. So there's our pump. This is the factory wiring, and we want to give it power from a battery box that's going to be mounted underneath here. And I also want an onboard charger inside the box. That way we can just run a drop cord out and charge the battery when we get home. And then, of course, we're going to need a switch on the side of the box here so we can turn the pump on and off. So we're going to show you how we hook all that up. All right, guys, so here's our battery box. This is the smaller of the two boxes that you get from Tractor Supply. Inside, we've got an EverStart battery, Deep Cycle Marine battery from Walmart that was under 70 bucks. So definitely recommend getting that if you're just getting started or trying to save cost. Same thing here, EverStart charger maintainer. And then we've got 10 gauge wire that we're gonna be hooking everything up with and some connectors and we've got these male female connections that are weatherproof apparently. And we're gonna splice into those. And that way we can disconnect our pump whenever it goes, you know, goes bad and it's time to replace the pump, we can just pull it apart instead of trying to cut wires and re-splice and all that stuff. And then tractor supply, we went and got a switch, so, and some other stuff, but that's unrelated to this job. So that's all you need, a switch, connections, um, 10 gauge wire, and a battery, of course, and we're ready to go. All right, guys, so we drilled a half inch hole and we put in our switch right there, so that's where that's gonna go. And I put it underneath that handle so there's a drip edge, so water will run off and not really get to the switch. But if it does get wet, there's a weatherproof uh, little boot there that keeps it kind of dry. And then we've got our charger just duct taped in this corner here. And I'll show you why I put it there in a minute. So now let's get the battery in. We'll hook the charger to the battery and we'll pull that switch back out of position so we can wire the switch to the battery and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so the charger is all connected to the battery with those two connections right there. That came with the charger, so I didn't have to do anything there. This is just gonna get tucked into the box. Now we're going to hook up our switch to the battery, and that's gonna interrupt the connection that's going to the pump. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're gonna slide this out of the way for a second. So. 10 gauge wire is what we're using. Everyone says to go with 10 gauge wire because apparently anything smaller is going to uh, heat up and melt down on you. So 
I'm just going to take their word for it. We're gonna go ahead and use 10 gauge wire. So we're just gonna get ourselves a, a section here. We're only going from the battery to the switch, so this doesn't need to be very long. But I do wanna give myself a little bit of slack to play with. All right, that should be plenty. Cut that off. All right, so what we need to do is I need to attach a big terminal on one end so I can hook it to the battery and then a smaller terminal to attach this uh, screw head of the switch. That's not focusing very, very well, but it's a Phillips head screw and it takes a smaller connection than the one you're going to use on the battery. Got a big one and a small one. So we're gonna strip the wire. All right. We're gonna throw the connector on. Crimp it down. Do the same for the other side. All right, so now we got a nice tight connection on both sides. We're gonna get a heat source, like a heat gun, or today I'm gonna use a lighter. And we're gonna shrink this uh, shrink tubing down so it's a nice weatherproof seal. that we're going to take our positive off here hook that to the battery and the smaller end is going to go to a switch Now you should have something like this. This other terminal is going to go straight to the positive wire on your pump. A lot of guys will just take this 10 gauge wire and run it straight in and cut the positive wire to the pump and just splice it in that way. Like I said, what we're going to do is try to run with these um, quick connects. So let's do it. All right, so because I got this from Tractor Supply, it's a smaller gauge wire than what we're using to run everything else. So I can't use a butt connector to splice them. You can order these for a 10 gauge wire, which I'm probably gonna do later on, but for the sake of the video and getting this pump wired up, we're gonna do the twist method, right? So we're gonna cut these like, or sorry, not cut them, we're gonna strip them about twice as long as you would normally strip a wire. And same with your 10 gauge. And then we're going to twist them together, uh, fold that in half, and we're gonna cover it with um, shrink tubing. So, let's get to it. So there's our connection. All right, so 
So, here's the pump side, right? This goes to our switch. Alright, now we can mount our switch back in the box. Everything else we do is going to be outside the battery box. Alright, so both connectors, or sorry, both wires are hooked to this connector. I did the same thing we just did with the ground wire. That's running to the battery. What I'm going to do right now is I got some leftover wire loom over there. I'm going to throw some wire loom on this so it stays kind of tidied up. And then we're going to move this whole thing over to the truck and start hooking it to the pump. All right, guys. So I got the battery box in the truck. There it is. This is our wiring from our switch that we just did. You can see it right there. And then that literally just plugs into your pump. I'm just going to drape this kind of over the top here so it's out of the way. And then we're going to plug it in one handed. Hang on. All right. That's it. It's as simple as that. And of course, your pump comes with an inline fuse right here. It's a 20 amp fuse. So just keep some of those on hand because if you pop one in the middle of a job, you're going to be screwed. So keep extra fuses. But here we go. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But that's it. It's, it's working. And then the charger, I'll show you why I mounted that charger where I did. So here's our little drop cord that runs out. Just plug that in. And I drilled a small hole on the front of this box. And now I can see the charge light. So when that's flashing, I'm charging. And when it's solid green, we're fully charged and ready to go. So I can see that from a glance right here and know if we're charging or if we're ready to go. So that's it guys, that's how we wire up our soft wash system. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions about plumbing up a soft wash system, we've got a video I'll put right here. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to keep putting out content for you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.